Now, I just love seeing the price action of Terra Luna Classic outpacing the rest of the cryptocurrency market, and that is exactly what's happening this morning. Guys, Terra Luna Classic is up roughly 6-7%, and it's back in that 17,000 point per coin range. Bitcoin is up, yes, but it's only up about a percent. Same deal with Ethereum, and this type of price action, it draws attention to the, the coins and the projects that are moving the most. So if you've got Terra Luna Classic up 7, 8, 9, 10%, and the rest of the market's only up one, two, three percent. People are going to take notice, and especially the traders. The traders tend to flock to the most volatile coins because that's where the most money is able to be made. So I would absolutely expect more people's eyes to be on Terra Luna Classic after this morning's rally. But I also want to discuss some interesting social media statistics surrounding Terra Luna Classic that show, you know, we may be bottoming. We may be at one of the lowest levels that we will see. Now, I know that's an optimistic outlook, but we're going to discuss why. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and $1 crypto trade gets $5 in free crypto. Now, if you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, up. You got KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, holding your coins on any of these centralized exchanges, they are considered loans to the centralized exchange. If you want the asset to be yours, you have to hold it off exchange on a DeFi or cold storage wallet. Now guys, let's discuss Terra Luna Classic here, the price action and what's going on. Because there's not a whole lot of proposals. We, we talked a little bit about it yesterday. In the proposals and, and, I guess, development updates going on for Terra Luna Classic right now are minimal. There's, you know, we do have the discussions surrounding whether or not to increase the minimum deposit in order to get your Terra Luna Classic proposal to show up on Terra Station in the first place. We've got, you know, opening up of different IBCs and things like that, which everybody accepts and wants to have happen. You've got Ed's proposal to upgrade the, the blockchain out there. So, you know, the stuff we've already discussed, no major changes, at least on the horizon at the moment. And I always view that as a good thing. You know, if we don't have anything that can really, you know, undercut Terra Luna Classic and chop it down, I believe that is good news and, and it's at least a safe path forward. Now, talking about the price action, the price action has been very volatile lately and it has been following Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the major cryptocurrency market to a T. Bitcoin goes up, Terra Luna Classic's going up. Ethereum goes up, uh, you know, Terra Luna Classic's going up. The opposite happens, they're going down. But the good news is it continues to outpace the overall market. And that is in part because Terra Luna Classic has a much lower market cap than things like Bitcoin and Ethereum and so on. So a little move, even the same dollar amount, you know, a little move is going to be exacerbated in Terra Luna Classic that you won't see in, in Bitcoin and in Ethereum. So that's why we're outpacing the overall market. Yes, continuing to follow it nicely. But what I want to focus on for a minute or the social media statistics. And if you guys know by now, I love to go out and use trends.google.com to see how many people are searching for a certain topic. Because I believe there's a direct correlation between the amount of eyes that are on a subject, an asset, uh, whether it be stocks or crypto and so on, and the, the price action there. If price action is going up, it's that cycle. If price action goes up, more people want to know why, so they search for it. The more people that are searching for it, the more people they're buying, and therefore the price action goes up. When price starts to go down, people get upset and they stop searching for it. And then, of course, that perpetuates the cycle there and makes the price go down even further. Terra Luna Classic is in an interesting spot on trends.google.com. Last week, when it had full data... The, the search level for Google search was a level of three for Terra Luna Classic. Now, that is a very low level, one of the lowest levels since the entire fallout began. 
And, and of course, it was at zero, you, you know, for quite some time before that. But before Terra Luna Classic began to rise up in September, October, and everybody was, you know, piling in to, to get, in, or get in on those gains, this is the lowest levels we have seen. Now, this week, the data is incomplete at the moment, but we're sitting at a level of zero, okay? Put that in perspective, guys. That means that we are at the lowest levels possible for anybody searching for Terra Luna Classic. Now, the fact that we are able to maintain these levels right now, 16, 17, 1,800 points per coin or 18,000 points per coin, whichever way you want to look at it, shows that Terra Luna Classic is maintaining this price point with no search volume or little to no search volume coming in. Usually when that happens, a project is either dying off and people are uninterested in it, or you are at or near a bottom. I'm going to hope that we are at or near a bottom, but it is absolutely possible, okay? Don't use that as, as like uh, written in stone to say that we cannot go lower in price because we can go lower in price. But if you're if you're basing it on search volume, it can't really go much lower than that. Now, the good news is the upside potential is ridiculous from here. So when we had previously seen these lows reached, it was when Terra Luna Classic was trading around 4,000 points per coin, when it had basically bottomed out and people were really wondering whether or not the project was dead. After that, it shot up to 50, almost 60,000 points per coin. It was a 10 plus X gain. And the search volume shot up to 100. From where we are right now, if it did just the same thing, we would once again be 10 to 15 xing on our pro, on our uh, on our gains there on Terra Luna Classic, but from the current levels. So yes, we would be burning a zero from where we are right now if the same type of occurrence happened. Now, nobody can determine the future based on past performance and things like that. As, as smart as AI is, as smart as these, these Google trend indicators are, it doesn't guarantee future performance. So that obviously needs to be said. But it is exciting to think about if that cycle were to just happen again and we were to bottom out in search volume, reach those previous highs that we had reached, and the, the search volume does the same thing that it did once or once prior, Terra Luna Classic would be in store for some very large gains. So guys, I'm still excited about it. I want to know if you're excited about it. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think Terra Luna Classic is capable of during the next little rally that we get. Now, of course, with that button right there still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. You guys got ClearBro 883 everywhere. You're getting 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord, and until the next time, hope to each and every one one of you have an awesome day.